All right, welcome to another episode of Let's Go Brandon Green. Today on the show, we have life coach Susan Francis. Susan's from uh, central New South Wales, just out the back of Sydney there. And uh, she is a life coach, but specializes in helping, uh, what is it, 40 year olds around that um, age group get back on get back on their feet socially. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you for allowing me the time to um, just inform the listeners of um, my niche within the life coaching area. Yeah, right. Well, so, yeah, tell us what your actual niche is. Right, my actual niche is working as a social connection coach, which means I work predominantly with over the over 40s age bracket. And Within the over 40s, a lot of people sort of tend to go through a move with um, employment. They might actually have their spouse might have passed away um, because uh, children growing up and moving on, there's not the social connections like there once was with school committees and things. So I, I work with people and sort of pinpoint maybe where they'd like to go with their social lives and where some of the activities they might like to pick up and a, a direction, a pathway that they can follow to um, re-develop um, their social life and so it is a fulfilling social life as well. Right. And uh, how did you get into this? Um, well, my background has been working as a registered nurse for many years and then um, seeing my children have left um, school and then my, unfortunately my marriage broke down so I have actually ha had to go through the experience a couple of times because I'm originally from Melbourne so I about six years ago did take the big leap and moved to Orange in New South Wales and not knowing anyone so a couple of times I've had major times in my life when well, I would you do that sorry move from move from Melbourne to the middle of nowhere <laughs> I just get got to a stage where I thought I really need to move. I, I need to, I found just life at that time, I just really needed to sort of move and, and redevelop myself and re, recreate who I was. And, and that's what these people need to do as well. And they... Well, you don't necessarily need to move states. I mean, that's a pretty drastic <laughs> thing. But, yeah, um, yeah often just um, taking stock of what you're doing and, and maybe you might need to sort of change direction completely but then again it just depends on your finances your living situations um i was just fortunate that it was a choice i could afford to do and it worked for me i've um recreated friendships and and um got involved in different groups and activities so to me <clears throat> it's been worthwhile it's been worth the effort yeah so and where did you tra transition like life coaching is for me now and, and helping um, people. I, I worked with um, a, a mentor and I had, um, when I got, uh, moved to Orange, I actually worked with in the healthcare system with a home care agency. And then I went on and developed my own business um, within the healthcare and then COVID hit and I sort of closed everything down because it was just a, an unknown territory as to how, how we could operate our businesses and things. And that's when um, my mentor also um, helped life coaches develop their businesses. And that's when I decided to make the change. And it's very similar to nursing because you are working with someone and you're um, working through a process with them to achieve a goal. Yeah, who wants to be better. Um, all right. So... And with this sub niche of that, um, yeah, how did you get into that part? Um, well, it was just discussing it with my life coach, and um, because I'd experienced it a couple of times, I sort of felt, well, maybe that's an area I can help other people. I can understand it because I've had first hand experience in what yeah. it's like to re, re um, start right from start again. So, just so I can understand it, it's uh, being around the 40 years of age mark, having had kids, being living this life on autopilot for 10, 15 years, and then all of a sudden, boom, you've, you've got yes. to learn how to do life again, I guess, from... Absolutely, and maybe in a different direction without a lot of the props that you've previously had, like children, husbands, jobs, yes. Yeah. So it can be quite hard for the individual. Um, it depends on the the person and their outlook. 
<clears throat> um, some people, if they're quite enlightened and they see it as an adventure, it's not too daunting. But for some yeah. people to, to walk up to a group of strange people and say, I've come to join your group or I've come to participate, it can be quite a daunting experience. Yeah. And how do people know that they need to see someone like you? Um, well, if, if, um, if they have family around them saying, do you think you're in a rut? Do you think, and, or maybe they're the person themselves are looking at things and going, gee, I'd like to get out and do that, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah. So, um, so they know that they're in a rut or does someone usually tell them like you're Give in a, a rut? Prompt or... it, yeah. And then the seed sort of forms and they go, Oh, maybe. Or, and then they sort of think, well, maybe there's more than what I'm doing. Yeah. And also okay. we're, we're sort of maybe the first step before someone really thinks of going to seeing someone regard, um, like a psychologist or we're, we're often a life coach is, um, a step that's it's not too daunting and it works with yeah. the person and often the philosophy is with a life coach that the answers are within the person themselves it's just a matter of um putting acknowledging them and then putting them into a structure that's achievable yeah and with these people do they how long do they usually take before they're on their way and feeling better about themselves it varies a lot. Some people, you can just give them the, the ideas and they fly with them. Other people, they like someone to hold their hand and sort of help them every step of the way until they've, they've achieved what their outcome is. And working with people, you're always going back to them and saying, is, are you happy with this? Do we need to reevaluate or restructure how we're approaching the situation? Yeah. So everyone's and so individual. Some, some people might just be four, six weeks. They just need a little bit of a a support as they start getting out and other people might just need that ongoing support for say three six months to really yeah. start to feel comfortable mixing and and um going off in other directions and what type of methods do you use to help these people um it's, it's sitting down having a discussion with them finding out where they are at the moment and what connections they've got at the moment family support or support from friends um working out what they would like to do, what hobbies, what activities, what interests them the most, and then just working out a pathway how they can actually get involved in those hobbies, who they might need to contact. Um, do they need to um, contact a person and say, hey, look, I'm new. Will someone be there when I, you know, front up to just sort of um, guide me through the process of signing up and, and starting to join the group? Yeah, and um, after a while they start to say, oh, wow, Susan, I'm, I'm really feeling better. Um, I needed this, you know, yeah. Yeah, because The train once was off the track and now it's back on you. Yeah, because once you've achieved a, a social, satisfying social um, life, often that reflects in other areas of your life. It just increase, increases your feeling of well-being. Yeah, and... Mm. Um, just on how does someone who's you know in a rut get on to like do they just automatically seek out life coaching or is um, it becoming do, a known I, thing? I do a lot of advertising on the um, social medias. I have um, posts going up um, and and putting out articles. Just um, and and also my networking with other social coaches. Um, people will, will refer as well. Okay. Oh, wow. So you can do, you know, ads on social media, Instagram, Facebook and things like that yeah. about, you know, do you need help? Do you feel That's lost? Right. And then and people actually reach out to that. Yes, yep. Or they'll, or they'll leave comments and things and then you just start talking to them and responding and yeah. you, you build up that relationship, that rapport, and then yeah. some of them do feel comfortable and some think, no, it's not my fit, which is fine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just wondering because I've never felt like that. So it's just like, so there are people out there that are looking for someone to say, are you okay, I guess. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And as yeah. I said before, with, with COVID, um, COVID's really sort of, um, as, uh, as I mentioned, it's almost like we're, we were sort of confined in jail and, and sort of coming out. It just all the We were all given two years. 
two and a half years of depression with that stuff. I know. Not even, I didn't, I'm not a depressed person, but I was like, that was not life. Like, that was not. The frustration. And now we're all saying to all my friends, we're saying, can you believe we even let that happen to us? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I suppose at the time it was such an unknown thing. Correct, yeah. um, yeah, it's it's um yeah, they I suppose there had to be some guidelines to, to govern it. But yeah, so coming out of it it's it's like you have technically been in jail and you know, it's quite a known um So so there's a lot more depression post COVID. and 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 apprehension in just reconnecting because people now are fearful of groups, big groups. Mm. Um, really. fearful of, um, you know, especially the older ones with, if they've got um, impacting um, health conditions, just mingling with people in the supermarket. I mean, you know, do you still wear a mask or don't you wear a mask or who's vaccinated, who's not vaccinated, all those sorts of things. And can you still get close? Can you get close to people again in a shopping queue or not? Do you still stand that 1.5 away from people? Just get 10 vaccines until they work. <laughs> Who knows? But, um, it is. It is. And I mean, look, next year I'm looking to travel and I'm starting to think, gee, what happens if I get sick? How many extra injections do I need? Do I have to touch base? Should I just go away for short periods of time? Should I um, go away for the whole time and just go, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just wear it if it happens? Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, yeah, that's all. You just got to look at it like you looked at the flu f- five years ago, you know, I guess. Like that's the Absolutely. mindset. Otherwise, everyone will be scared and depressed forever. You know? <laughs> yeah. Very true. So, yeah. So um, with, and also when did you start doing this? Was it um, just after like, COVID? Or? Um, well, during COVID actually because I was mainly confined at home and the, as I said, the, the my mentor, she did a, a lot, she does a lot of it over Zoom. So we had group session. I mean, because there were other people that were moving through at the same time, doing their own specific niches, and so um, yeah, we had a lot of Zoom meetings and catch up once a week and things like that. So I was able to develop my um, skills yeah. during the COVID time. Yes. So initially, it was going to be a lot more as well, one on one, and then COVID came and forced the whole world to go virtual. And, and with Zoom. So you can effectively help anyone from anywhere in the world. Absolutely. Providing yes. they language speak English. It, that's it. That's what I was just about to say, yeah, as long as, um, yeah, the language, yeah. But, yes, absolutely, and, and any time too, yes. Yeah. All right. And these, what age group mainly? Is it men, women that come to you? Or? Um, it's, it's both men and women. But it's, um, I'm mainly pitching it over 40s because that's when there's really significant life changes. Yeah. Under 40, a lot of people still tend to have yeah, children that they're involved with school activities. Um, maybe the divorce syndrome hasn't hit yet. Um, they're, they're working. I mean, as you sort of get over 40s, then you start getting impacted with health conditions. Your spouse What's divorce might have, syndrome? Um... <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just. Um, a divorce unknowingly you, you know you ne- you never know what's around the corner and and um yeah you don't ever expect that you know you, your marriage will go down that path yes really so some people aren't happy that they're divorced um well i know i i was disappointed that my marriage went down the path of, of divorce I, I always used to look at my friends and go because they, they said the um the ratio in australia was one in three and i used to think gee i wonder who that one in three is and wow it, it just sort of comes more like out of one nowhere. In two now isn't it yes yes it has decreased over the yeah last few it's probably years more. Yeah. it's probably 60 percent now so <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's so, that's why i'm just, so I guess marriage might not mean the same thing it once did. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Well, you're not. Yeah. Well, I just had a kid myself, but yeah, all these people with step stepfathers, you know, it's just different to, uh, yeah, it's becoming a thing. Um, it is. It's, it's becoming yeah. a new norm, isn't it? New normal. And I guess that helps people as well if that were to ever happen. That, like, it's not... 
you know, 30, 40 years ago it might have been looked down upon or something, but now it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's the, and I think also, I mean, years ago it used to happen, but it was more kept under the covers. People didn't talk about it. Yeah, now right. um, it's, it's more openly acknowledged and accepted and worked with within um, yeah. society. Yeah. Okay. And you have a Facebook page where people can uh, get on to you? I do, yes. It's called the Social Connection Coach. Yeah. And through that page, they can um, they can reach out to you and and talk about where, what strategies they can go from there and, and try to get them back on track. True, very true. And and um, we can just have a general chat and see if um, the services I offer is, is is a fit for them because it doesn't suit everyone. Everyone's different, yeah. but um, yeah, if if. Um, Possible, but you've had yes. but you've had a bit of success with helping other people get on back on the rights, get their I feet have, back yes. on the ground. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's great. All right then. Well, um, so you'll send through the links. I'll put that on my website as well. So thank um, you. So yeah, people, if you are you know needing your second win in life and um, you feel that you need a bit of a reset, is it? Be a bit yes, of a reset, yes. wouldn't it be? That's a good yeah. way, yes. Yeah, life reset. Suzanne 2.0. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. Thank you no very worries. much for the chance to talk with you. No worries, Susan. Thanks for yeah, letting filling me in on what could potentially happen to me one day. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.